So a long time ago, when you had a bad knee or a bad hip, we actually did fusions of those, which to me is insane. So you walk with a straight leg and can't use your joint properly. The same thing applies in the spine. We have discs that move. We get away with fusions in the spine because we have five discs in the cervical spine and we have five discs in the lumbar spine. So if you fuse one or two discs, you can still maintain reasonably good motion, whether it's in the neck or low back. However, oftentimes people develop further disease and need more than two discs fused, and then you start getting restricted motion and mobility. 80% of the patients I see are good candidates for artificial disc replacement, but some do require a fusion or a combination of the two called a hybrid, where we might fuse one disc and do an artificial disc next to it. I like to provide motion preservation for all my patients because we're living longer and we want to live functional and active lives.